Okay, so let's see uh, the exercise one question for our handout. Use the data below to construct the bone haver cycle for copper two oxide and determine its lattice energy. As you can see here, this question is about copper two oxide. So when it state copper two oxide, jadi maksudnya di sini. Uh, you kena tahu dulu lah copper 2 oxide tu terbentuk daripada ion apa so kalau kita tengok uh, copper ok dia, the charge for copper ada 2 plus ok oxide ni adalah O2 minus ok so these two akan combine ok <coughs> so kita dapatlah dia punya <coughs> chemical formula adalah Cu CuO alright so, dekat sini dia dah bagi dah pada you and tapi untuk copper berapa. So, from there you have to construct the thermochemical equations. So, copper solid ke copper gas itu ada entropy of atomization. So, next adalah first ionization energy of copper is meant from the copper gas kepada copper plus gas ion. Okay, we know that copper is 2 plus. Therefore, copper will have second ionization energy. So, the second IE for copper adalah copper 2 plus gas kepada copper 2 plus. And then, the next is entropy atomization of oxygen. Uh, we want to produce one mole of oxygen atom, okay, from the oxygen molecules. And then, kita ada first electron electron affinity which is from the gases ion of oxygen gain one mole of electron so kita akan dapat O negative one and then second electron affinity of oxygen because we know that uh, the charge of the oxygen is O2 minus therefore there will be a second electron affinity for the oxygen so O minus gases ion gain another electron and turn to O2 minus gas Okay, that one is second electron affinity. And lastly is the enthalpy formations of copper oxide. Uh, we know that enthalpy formation is heat change when one mole of one mole of compound is formed from its element. So if you want to produce copper oxide, then the element must come from copper solid and also the oxygen molecules. Okay, so we balance the equations and then we get the uh, the punya formations chemical equations. So we get all the thermochemical equations here. So from this thermochemical equation, we will construct the von Haber cycle. I will show you two examples of of von Haber. Okay, so for this question actually, uh, they minta pada you bone have a cycle. So you have to construct the cycle. Okay, jangan construct energy level diagram. Sebab soalan ini minta bone have a cycle. Okay, so tapi di sini I akan show you two examples. Okay, I tunjuk cycle pada you. I juga akan tunjukkan energy level diagram pada you. Okay, like I said before, every time kalau soalan minta construct bone haber cycle, gunalah cycle. Okay, guna energy cycle. Jangan lukis energy level diagram. So, this is the energy level diagram for copper to oxide. Okay, I just want to revise back with you. As I told you before, the ground floor must be for ionic solid. Okay, CuO. And next, and the first floor will be uh, enthalpy of formation. So, kita tahu uh, kita tahu yang entropy of formation adalah nilainya negatif that's why arrow nya kena turun ke turun ke bawah because the value is negative so make sure like I said before uh, the energy gap the difference in energy tu okay, between each level the gap mesti berpandukan kepada nilai energy if nilai energy ataupun nilai entropy is greater then the gap will be larger okay? so gap nya tak boleh sama size gap nya kena difference size according kepada kita punya entropy punya value alright so in the second floor kita tahu daripada copper solid okay akan undergo uh, entropy of atomization akan produce copper gas 
as I told you before juga kita akan settlekan one by one it mean kita akan settlekan untuk untuk metal dahulu after that baru kita akan settlekan untuk non non metal so here copper solid to copper guys uh, and tapi atomization is positive to 39 and then daripada copper gas okay kita akan masuk kepada IE hasilkan copper plus gas ion so the IE1745 and next daripada copper plus gas ion kita tahu kita akan naik kepada second IE okay which is copper 2 plus gas alright and then after that kita dah finish up untuk copper now kita akan move kepada uh, oxygen now uh, barulah kita akan stack dengan oxygen iaitu atomization of oxygen so kita akan dapat lah dekat situ uh, O gas sahaja ok sebab kita tahu kalau entropy of atomization kita nak produce one more of gas atom and then once sudah dapat dah uh, atom gas untuk oxygen after that kita akan pergi kepada electron affinity as you can see there the value for electron affinity adalah nilainya negatif that's why arrow nya turun ke bawah ok so dapat electron affinity kita dapat O- minus and then kita tahu sekarang ni untuk that uh, oxygen gas ion ok O- minus dia akan undergo another dia akan gain another one electron untuk produce O2- minus. that one is uh, that one is second electron affinity so second electron affinity always positif sebab tu kalau you tengok ok kita punya energy level tu daripada turun ke bawah kita akan naik semula ke ke atas untuk hasilkan O2- minus where energy is absorbed after that barulah kita akan turun lastly kepada ground level semula untuk dapatkan CuO solid ok so that one is our lattice so I just want you to look to have a look, a brief look ok, macam mana energy level dia untuk copper oxide alright, so this is the bond haber cycle that you need to construct Okay, macam kita dah belajar sebelum ni, kita kena uh, follow the key words fill which is starting from formation, atomization and then kita akan masuk kepada IE and then kita akan masuk kepada electron affinity and lastly is our lattice energy. So, uh, the upper part, okay, bahagian paling atas sekali, okay, must be formation. So, kita letaklah formation dekat situ. So, copper solid tambah setengah O2 gas, hasilkan CO solid. After formation, kita akan turun kepada atomization macam I beritahu sebelum ini juga energy cycle prosesnya kena turun serentak ok kita tukar kita change ok kita change entropy untuk metal kita juga akan change entropy untuk non metal pada masa yang sama alright so untuk copper solid hasilkan copper gas untuk oxygen molecule so hasilkan oxygen atom dekat situ gas and then kita letak dia punya entropy atomization berapa for both and then daripada copper gas dia akan pergi kepada first IE and then uh, untuk oxygen gas pula dia akan pergi kepada first electron affinity and then copper copper plus ions okay, akan pergi kepada copper 2 plus ion where is second IE and then O minus akan pergi O2 minus kepada second electron affinity and then these two akan plus together ok untuk hasilkan kita punya lattice so jangan lupa eh the plus sign here ok jangan lupa letak plus sign here I forgot ni alright so once you dah dapat dah you punya nilai and then and you punya entropy you punya energy cycle diagram barulah kita boleh calculate kita punya um, data HDT so formula je entropy formations equal to data HA ok copper plus delta HA for oxygen ok then plus dengan IE1 plus dengan IE2 plus dengan EA1 plus dengan EA2 plus dengan delta H lattice so you just substitute the formula negative 155 equal to equal to positive 339 plus 248 and then plus 745 then plus 1960 then plus minus 141 then plus 791 plus entropy lattice so from here then you calculate your lattice lattice energy berapa 
the final unit must be in kj mol negatif 1. So, the answer is there for you to look dalam kita punya handout. So, make sure after you total up you punya energy, you akan dapat the same value of righteous energy like the answers dalam kita punya notes. Okay. Alright, the second exercise is use the data below to construct the bond hybrid cycle for magnesium chloride and determine its lattice energy. So, we construct the thermochemical equation for magnesium chloride. So, optimization of magnesium is magnesium solid to magnesium gas. And then, we have the first IE untuk magnesium daripada magnesium gas kepada Mg plus ion. And then, we have second IE for Mg, Mg plus to Mg2 plus ion. And then, we have enter tapi atomization of fluorine ok so dekat situ daripada, seteng, daripada F2 gas molecule kita akan hasilkan sebiji saja gases atom of fluorine and then kita ada electron affinity uh, untuk fluorine juga so sorry dekat sini I type change ya ini electron affinity untuk fluorine so from fluorine gas go to F minus gas ok and then we have enthalpy formations of magnesium fluoride so kita tahu MgF2 terbentuk daripada magnesium solid dan juga fluorine molecules ok do you so you got the MgF2 so we have the thermochemical equation so let's construct the von Haber cycle so this is the diagram for the von Haber cycle ok Uh, untuk magnesium fluoride macam biasa dekat atas kait entropy formations okey mg solid tambah f2 produce mgf2 and then daripada magnesium solid kita akan undergo atomization the same goes kepada kita punya fluorine as you can see here the final destinations okey kita nak ada mgf2 is mean kita nak dua biji atom fluorine okey so that's why untuk entropy of atomizations okey kita akan produce 2F sebab kita nak 2 biji fluorine. Kalau kita tengok entapi sebelum ini, ok, untuk entapi of atomizations untuk fluorine sebelum ini, hanya memberi pada you nilai bagi sebiji atom fluorine. So, now bila ada 2 biji atom fluorine that's why the entapi atomizations untuk fluorine tersebut, you kena times dengan 2. Alright, so macam I pesan jangan salah, tengok berapakah bilangan um, non metal yang kita perlukan okey pada final destination kita kalau ada dua biji dan atomization kena darab dengan dua lah ya alright so kita fill up untuk entapi atomization for magnesium and then kita turun kepada first IE untuk magnesium alright so that one is the first IE and then kita turun kepada second IE untuk magnesium okey so kita dapat dah 1450 but untuk kita punya fluoride ion okey daripada 2F okey dia akan jadi 2F minus gas okey that's why dia punya electron affinity di situ kena darab dengan 2 sebab apa? sebab thermal chemical equation yang kita construct tadi tu adalah untuk sebiji F- ion sahaja ok, Ea untuk sebiji F- ion sahaja so that's why di sini kita perlukan 2 F- that's why that Ea kena darab dengan 2 so Mg2 plus ion alright tambah dengan 2 2 F- ok, so kita akan produce lah kita punya Magnesium fluoride di situ. So, that one is our lattice layer. So, this one adalah bawah kita punya delta H lattice. Okay. So, kita ada delta H lattice lah ya di situ. Alright. So, ada label delta H lattice. Okay. So, let me padam di situ. So, now soalan minta you calculate apakah kita punya delta H lattice. So, macam biasalah you gunalah formula yang kita dah belajar sebelum ini. And tapi... Formation equal to sum of delta H A untuk Mg plus delta H A for F plus dengan I E1 plus dengan I E2 plus dengan E A E A, ok, 2 kali E A lah ya, ok and then plus dengan N tapi lattice So, dekat sini negatif 1124 equal to 148 tambah dengan 318 tambah dengan 738 tambah dengan 1450 tambah dengan negatif 656 tambah dengan delta H delta H lattice. Okay, 
So, okay, then you calculate lah the attached lattice. So, the attached lattice equal to berapa nilai dia and unit dapat dalam kg mol negatif, negatif 1. So, make sure the answers you get tu sama lah ya dengan answers yang dalam kita punya, kita punya note. Alright.